Iran has hosted millions of Afghan refugees over the past few decades. 800,000 are officially registered, but estimates suggest at least 3 million more illegal migrants currently live in the country. Around 5,000 Afghans are believed to cross into Iran each day through the porous border. Most of them are fleeing their country in search of work or to make their way through Iran to eventually reach Europe. And Tehran is offering temporary residence permits to any refugees who take part in the month-long census. But those who snub the census will be deprived of all civil rights and be immediately deported. I left Afghanistan in December. You know what problems we face over there. My employer told me that we can get a six-month permit. So I and all my friends came here. I came to Iran for work because there were no jobs for me in Afghanistan. The Taliban has occupied all positions there. I'm here to get a card so I can stay here for six months. We don't know if the card can be extended or not. Many of these migrants don't meet the necessary conditions to officially seek asylum in Iran, but are employed by the private sector or have free high school education. Naturally, each Afghan entering Iran has costs for the country and for the government. Sometimes they take the place of the Iranian workforce. That leads to disorder, and now we are determined to fix this. The focus of the plan appears to be making sure that illegal migrants cannot stay in Iran permanently. Iran is facing its own economic crisis and cannot afford to continue offering public services to refugees. The government is seeking international financial assistance while also trying to document the migrants in order to manage their population and their length of stay. Reza Hatami, TRT World, Tehran.